Hello! I'm gonna make this quick because I'm really exhausted right now. I'm really out of it. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm gonna try to make this intro quick and I'm also gonna try to film this video a bit quickly because not gonna lie, on a bit of a time crunch right now, I'm in exam week. Okay, they're being really loud upstairs, rude. As I just said, I'm in exam week right now, midterms, still have midterms. I have two midterms this week. You've probably heard me mention a couple times in past videos that I still have midterms. Yeah, I had, I think one, maybe three weeks ago. And so now I have two more this week. I kind of had this idea. I don't know, since I'm kind of struggling to find time to read, I thought I could start like this sort of diaries of a college reader sort of videos where it's just like, I kind of show you guys when I can find time to read and also give you guys advice on when you guys might be able to find time to read if you're also like me if you're still in college so basically today i woke up at 9 a.m had to go to my brother's skating practice and then immediately me my parents and my brother went out for like six hours came back home at like 6 30 and then immediately i just got into studying i just immediately studied for about a good what time is it 11 five hours it's 11 20 right now 11 20 p.m right now i plan to take a shower and then i plan to read i also have work tomorrow morning i thought we could start out with um, the third book in the Captive Prince trilogy by C.S. Picat. I know this is really, really random. I literally told no one I was reading this. Don't recommend this to anyone. <laughs> it's so bad, okay? It's so, so bad. If you're interested in this whatsoever, please do your research before you go read this. Trigger warnings. Also kind of random, but I went to the bookstore today. My parents took me to the bookstore, and so I bought two books. Thought I could show you guys. Same author, C.S. Picat, Dark Rise, the first book in the Dark Rise series. And then I bought All of Us Villains by Amanda Foodie and C.L. Herman. This one I'm really excited about because I heard there was a really good slow burn romance in here. But yeah, I'm gonna go take a shower really quickly and then I'm gonna start reading this book and I'll tell you guys how I find time to start reading. Yeah, so basically today just went out and then immediately when I got home started studying just so I can have time to like read at night. I'm cramming as much as I can. That's how I find time to read. I do what I need to do when I wake up and then in the afternoon and then at night I can do whatever I want. Or I guess you could do the opposite where you wake up really early in the morning. For me, I just stay up really late to do what I want but I guess waking up early in the morning also works. But yeah, I'm gonna tell you my progress, gonna tell you how I find time to read as a starving college student. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoy. My parents just left the house, so I thought I would film really quickly. Ignore the hair, ignore the hoodie. I know this is the same hoodie I wore as when I started. We don't talk about that. I think it's been like two days since I started this video. I am 34% into King's Rising. I don't know, we're kind of calmer right now in the beginning of the book. Obviously, that's how beginning of the books normally start. But the thing is, the second book left us on like a major cliffhanger. And also, can I just say the second book really gave me whiplash the main love interest did like a full 180 with his personality and it kind of like jump scared me <laughs> there is a reason and you find out in the third book i've been doing the same thing where i just do what i need to do in the morning in the afternoon and then i just read at night i also read when i eat <laughs> the main character and the main love interest are kind of at like a how do i say this like a stalemate is that what it's called <laughs> yeah sure we'll call it a stalemate i don't think i'm using that word correctly but it's kind of like that if you know what i mean there is a secret identity trope in here we don't get a reveal until like the second book <laughs> if you're wondering why i started this in the first place it was because i needed to like quench my aftg thirst i just knew nothing could compare and so i found this like random series it's not exactly like the all for the game series by nor sakovic but it's helping a bit with the hangover <laughs> but yeah gonna continue studying i don't know i'll update you guys again when i have time okay my hair has literally not looked the best in this video at all but at this point i literally don't care so once again my parents have left the house they went to go pick up my brother from school yesterday i did not read at all i was just so tired immediately after i got back home from class my last class ended at 9 30 at night that class is three hours by the way it is such a pain yeah i didn't have time to read at all because one i was exhausted and two i kind of just wanted to what did i even do last night i don't know i just kind of wanted to randomly update you guys on this very very random urge i had does anyone ever get the impulsive urge to cut their hair i know so many people do like i literally have a shopper's drug mart that's like five minutes away from my house and i could just walk there and buy some hair cutting scissors should i do it i don't know maybe the next time you guys see me i might have disastrously cut my hair but i might actually do it i'm so tempted to do it i did actually cut my hair i don't know if you guys can tell i cut off like a good maybe four inches which is quite a lot to me i'm not sure four inches is really a lot when it comes to like normal hair cutting standards but to me that was quite a bit so it's like significantly shorter now in my eyes we are 52 percent into king's rising did i ever tell you guys what this book was about i don't think i want to basically we have two main characters damon and laurent but let's just say it's historical fiction there's a subplot romance that's really all i want to say i really don't 
don't want to tell you guys what this is about at all. Right now, things are becoming less awkward or more like we're getting more of that tension we had in the second book. If you decide to read this trilogy, don't think there's any romance in the first book whatsoever because there isn't. Laurent is kind of a very stoic character and he also is a very strategic person so he can like outmaneuver other people easily. He's very good with his words, let's just say that. And Damon, I wouldn't say like stronger overall, just like maybe stronger physically compared to Laurent. I don't know, just their dynamic together is very interesting. If you read the first book, you'll know why I say that. And the romance is between them, by the way. Laurent, again, is very stoic. So when he starts like rambling, it's like sort of out of character for him, but also at the same time, it's like very in character for him. And so whenever he like starts rambling, Damon smiles and it's like kind of adorable, if I'm being honest. At the beginning of the story, we were kind of in an awkward place between the two. I did say they had like a dramatic thing going on. Chaotic events caused them to have like a rift between them and they sort of started like avoiding each other and that made me sad. So now we're getting like that sort of awkward tension again and it's just like, oh my God, this is the best. Not really, it's not really the best. This is kind of trash if I'm being honest, but I'm enjoying it anyway. <laughs> Cause you know, like in romance, when the slow burn is happening and like there's the tension, the tension is what I enjoy the most. And oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys, I finished all my midterms. I think it's been like three days since I last filmed for this video. I'm so sorry. I was so busy studying. <laughs> yeah, what did I do? I cut my hair, I studied a lot, and then immediately after midterms were finished, which was today actually, I finished my last midterm today, started reading again. Again, 52% into the book. Yeah, but things are getting good. Some past demons are sort of coming to haunt Damon physically, not mentally. Like she appeared out of nowhere. His past like lover showed up out of the blue, right? And she's kind of like on the enemy side. We're getting into the dramatics here. <laughs> Laurent and Damon are like supposedly from enemy kingdoms in the beginning of the series and now they've sort of come together and oh my god I forgot to mention again Laurent is very like sort of closed off sort of character and right now we're kind of sort of strangely see him making friends some sense of camaraderie is happening and I was not expecting that out of Laurent of all people <laughs> and it's just making me really happy for some reason but yeah I think that's all for now yeah not too much is happening I'm enjoying the tension that's happening so far though I'm gonna go out tomorrow with a couple friends. Actually, an old friend from high school is coming out to the city and she's gonna hang out with me and another friend. So that's gonna be exciting. Haven't seen her in a while. We're gonna go out for breakfast. Don't know what we're gonna do after that, but not sure when the next time is I can update you guys. I'll probably update you tomorrow night, depending on how far I can get in the book. But yeah, I have to go film another video right now. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, I finished King's Rising by C.S. Picot. I think we're gonna give it a 3.5 out of 5 because there was just something about it that felt incomplete. It was kind of like a door slamming in your face. That ending, I just wasn't expecting it to happen. It like really came out of nowhere. The romance also just felt somewhat incomplete to me because I felt like there should have been more struggles. I know there were like a lot of struggles, but at the same time, I feel like there should have been more. I feel like it should have been like ripping my throat out sort of struggle. <laughs> I don't know why I said ripping my throat out. That's weird. But yeah, 3.5 out of 5. I still really enjoyed it, but I think I like the second book the best out of the entire series. That's basically all for like this diary entry my midterms are finished so i'm not struggling as much to read anymore but i also still need to study for other stuff so yeah that's gonna be all for today's video i know this was kind of short i know this was like very very random i'm not really sure what was random about it i film book videos all the time that's literally my channel i don't know what's random but i feel like this was very random <laughs> i don't know i ordered the summer palace by c.s picot i think it's like the novella in this series or something or like short story stories. There's this one that I specifically want to read out of the short story, so that's why I ordered it, but I'm really excited. I hope the romance gets like a more complete ending in that novella, because in this one, it really was like a door slamming in my face. If you ever read this, you'll know what I mean, but I really don't recommend you read this like at all, because it was kind of bad. I didn't want to mention this before, but there is like slavery in these books. Yeah, so don't read it if you don't want to read that, but kind of brutal at times. Not brutal as in like beat up brutal, I mean brutal as in like trigger warnings. <laughs> yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!